Officials in India are scrambling to prevent the spread of a potentially deadly virus with pandemic potential. And in this case the virus is not the COVID-19 coronavirus. It's the Nipah virus, which hasn't caused a pandemic yet since it was first discovered in 1999. But, as they say in the minor leagues and local theatre productions to up-and-comers, it's got potential. Early on Sunday, a 12-year-old boy in Kerala, a southern state in India, tragically died from a Nipah virus infection after he had spent about a week in a hospital. He was originally admitted for a high fever but his condition progressively worsened as he began exhibiting signs of encephalitis, which is inflammation and swelling of the brain. When testing of blood samples sent to the National Institute of Virology revealed the presence of the Nipah virus, officials knew they had to move quickly to prevent the virus from spreading any further. Contact tracing efforts are underway with all close contacts being quarantined. The boy had come into contact with a total of 188 people with 20 of them considered high-risk close contacts. Officials are working quickly because they don't want to find themselves knee-deep A in this Nipah virus. The virus, which is a member of the Paramyxoviridae family genus Henipe virus, is already known to be a dangerous virus. The virus has killed 40% to 70% of those infected in previous outbreaks over the past two decades or so. The Nipah virus has been on the World Health Organization WHO, rogues list of infectious diseases that pose the biggest potential threats to the world, as I covered for Forbes back in 2018. What gives the Nipah virus pandemic potential in general? Well, it is zoonotic which means that it can spread between other animals and humans with bats and pigs being known culprits. And once in humans, the virus can spread from human to human. If you've ever tried to organize a stage production of Les Miserables with just bats and pigs, you know how unpredictable animal and human interactions can be. So you never know where and when the virus might jump from other animals to people and then cause a human outbreak. The Nipah virus may not be as transmissible as the severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 SARS-CoV-2, but previous outbreaks have shown that it can spread among humans fairly rapidly. Plus, there are currently no established vaccines against or treatments for Nipah virus infections. While that may keep anti-vaxxers from saying, don't take the Nipah virus vaccine because it will make your keys stick to your forehead, it also means that there is currently little humans can do to prevent the spread of the Nipah virus except for non-pharmaceutical interventions such as social distancing, face mask use, hand hygiene, and disinfecting surfaces. Therefore, a Nipah virus epidemic could catch many countries with their pants down around their ankles just as the COVID-19 coronavirus did in early 2020.